There were two cases before the court in Nitu, both involving individuals who had consumed magic mushrooms. These are drugs that are hallucinogens. And then they committed horrific crimes, including in one case, murder. In both cases, the defense argued the accused person had lost their minds after consuming the drugs and temporarily had no ability to know what it was they were doing. This state of mind is called automatism. It's different than being just high or drunk. It is a temporary psychosis. And so the defense argued each defendant could not be held responsible for their acts by reason of automatism. Now, in each case, prosecutors said no. Parliament, back in 1994, amended the criminal code to remove that defense, saying, in effect, if you voluntarily take the drugs and then commit a crime, you are criminally responsible. But the Supreme Court now says that 1994 change to the criminal code, it's unconstitutional. It violates charter rights of an accused. And as a result, in the cases before the court, the defense of automatism was allowed. I don't expect to ever have a case like this again. Um, what people need to know is that extreme intoxication defenses are exceedingly rare and exceedingly difficult to establish. Some now worry that the Supreme Court's decision will remove a protection that many women and children relied on in domestic and sexual assault cases, where an individual, usually a man, could beat a charge of rape or sexual assault by claiming they were high. And we're going to see um, some men become I extremely intoxicated, commit violence, and be acquitted as a result of this decision today. So now it's up to parliamentarians to figure out what to do next. The Conservatives want action to rebalance the law toward victims. Justice Minister David Lametti said today he is reviewing the ruling before committing to next steps.